Do you start your day with tea or coffee? Both are popular worldwide, but which one is actually better for your body? Let's break it down. Tea, especially green or black tea, is packed with antioxidants called catechins. These help fight free radicals, improve heart health, boost brain function, and even support better digestion. Coffee, on the other hand, contains caffeine and antioxidants like chlorogenic acid, which can improve alertness, memory, metabolism, and may even help with fat burning. Both drinks give you energy, but in slightly different ways. Tea gives a gentler, longer-lasting alertness, while coffee gives a quick, strong kick that wakes you up instantly. But what about side effects? Too much coffee can cause jittiness, increased heart rate, anxiety, and even digestive issues. Tea is generally gentler, but excessive black tea can sometimes affect iron absorption or cause mild caffeine-related symptoms. Both drinks can be mildly addictive because of caffeine, and sudden withdrawal can cause headaches, fatigue, irritability, or even mood swings. Now, do they make you age faster? Not directly. In fact, the antioxidants in both tea and coffee help slow down aging at a cellular level and protect your skin from damage. The problem comes with added sugar, cream, or flavored powders, which can promote inflammation, weight gain, and skin aging over time. So which should you drink every day? Moderation is key. One to two cups of coffee or two to three cups of tea daily is generally safe for most people. If you're sensitive to caffeine, tea might be a better choice. And remember, avoid excessive sugar or cream to get the real health benefits. Drinking them mindfully, without unnecessary additives, gives your body the maximum advantage. Tea or coffee, both can be part of a healthy routine. Choose what suits your body, enjoy in moderation, and let them energize you without harming your health. Remember, it's not just the drink, it's how you drink it that matters. And balance is always the key to long-term well-being.